My life in terms of my own media consumption is in two parts, what I do for work and what I do for pleasure. For work, I know this will come as a surprise to people, but I'm watching Married at First Sight and I have been watching it now for a couple of years. Um, it's the number one rating show at the moment and every single time it's gone on air, I think we're in the sixth season, it's gone to number one. Who's the group it talks to? 13 to 25 year old women is the major group, the next group, 18 to 24 year old males. So young adults and some of them are in our schools. So I'm really wanting to have a discussion about marriage and family life, commitment, love, loyalty and truth and that show totally undermines it. Imagine an 11 or 12 year old kid watching Married at First Sight and they do. Whether we like it or not, they do. So professionally, I'm watching that show because I'm writing on it, I'm commentating on it, I'm going on radio about it. And then for my own enjoyment, well, I think actually it's not often the Oscars get it right in terms of the nominations for Beck's Picture, but if you saw the ones that are there nominated this year, then you've had a really good time at the cinema. We've got The Wife, uh, Roma, A Star Is Born, Black Klansman, just to name four of the six. They're terrific films and they're really worth seeing. There'd be two others that I'd throw in. Uh, Colette was a beautiful film uh, made about the famous French writer. And then the best film I've seen in recent times is Caponeum, which, yes, is a subtitled film and it's in Arabic and it's a refugee story and it's set in Lebanon. So it's not ticking a lot of boxes for a lot of people right now. It is one of the most powerful shows I have ever seen in my life and the two best child actors I've ever seen. And then I'm like most of Australians now, I'm into box sets of anything. I will go online and download onto my laptop because I do a lot of travel. Homeland, uh, Game of Thrones, even though I don't like the violence very much, I think it's an incredible show that kills off its lead actor in the very first season. Um, Big Little Lies, House of Cards, I think these are terrific shows. They're wonderfully done, they're beautifully made, and you can watch them when you like, as you like, in whatever order you like, and you can keep watching them. So television has changed dramatically, and I need some escapism, but I also take it very seriously because it can form our values, and therefore it can form me.